So today we're gonna to be doing a beginner's guide to the Upside app. So you can see right over here, we actually have the app up in real time so you could follow along step by step. Now we're gonna explain some things, have a better understanding because it looks a little chaotic when you might get in there for the very first time. So we're gonna explain some different things and how it all works so that way you can get your cash back when it comes to going to the gas station or to certain restaurants or even grocery stores. All right, so I went off screen over here just so we can really focus in on the actual screen for us as a whole. Now this is usually the main part of the phone app that you launch log into right over here. And again, it looks a little chaotic, but let's kind of explain some things here first and foremost. Now for us, you can see there's a couple of toggles over here at the very top. So you can actually just toggle only the gas stations in the area that you're looking. You could do just restaurants, grocery stores, and then the convenience store right over there as well too. So you can go ahead and kind of just do a very quick filter. And that's kind of what this is. If I untoggle that, it'll just show all of them all together. You could even pinch in here for you as well too, to really get into the different areas. And you could see some percentages over here as well as the cents off per gallon. And what this is actually telling us right now is this is how much of a discount I can be getting off of my gas. Yes, 58 cents off. And I'll just click here to show you an example. This is going to come right over here for us. And you can click on this to kind of give you a little bit more of a breakdown of what this is going to look like. And this is what it's going to show us. So the regular gas is going for 340 as of this recording. But with any discounts we have right now, whether it's your sign up bonus, which if you want to go ahead and utilize ours in the show notes down below, it'll get you a nice bonus as well. Uh, you can see here it's going to be 58 cents off a gallon. Same thing with a diesel or even the mid grade. Now you can also see here there is also the convenience store inside to get an additional 10% cash back. And sometimes they do have limits. So you can see here, this is $10, but that $10 is only for the convenience store where the gas itself is actually not a up to a certain percentage. It is just whatever you see right over here. So if you have, you know, 15 gallons to fill up or 25 gallons to fill up, you're going to get that 58 cents off per gallon. Now from down here, you can actually see how to actually earn this cash back. Sometimes there's a little bit of a difference between the grocery stores or the gas stations, but for the most part, we do need to make sure we claim an offer. And there is a time crunch when you do claim. So make sure you have the availability to get there within about a couple of hours, usually three or four. Uh, you get to choose how to earn. So you get to choose where that cash back goes and then you get to receive that cash back. And I'll show you some of those examples here for you as well. So you can see actually down here, it does show you that four hours after claiming. So I'm gonna just show you this example of claiming this reward here. Now it's gonna give us a little thing to go ahead and head to that location. You can get the directions if you need to and then you can click got it. And then that's gonna show up on the, this section over here. And what we already have is our card linked into this account, which I'll show you here how to do that afterwards as well too. Um, so you can have your card selected. If you want to just go ahead and upload a receipt, this is required for Apple Pay purchases. So if you're going to use your Apple Pay, you can go ahead and click on this option. But what we want to do here too is confirm the linked cart. So we want to make sure we choose the option for us to be able to go ahead and get that 58 cents. Otherwise, 58 cents off the gallon, I should say. Otherwise, we are not going to receive it. So we do need to make sure we do that. Now, if by any chance you decide not to go to that a specific gas station or get that cash back, you can click unclaim right over here and go and claim at another section. If you miss out, you're going to miss out on that discount and you're going to lose that. So you want to make sure that you either can complete that or unclaim it if you can't make it. So from this section here, we're going to go ahead and say that we want to claim that. And then we can go ahead and confirm link to card, like I said, to go through that process. But again, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like to unclaim for just one second. That's going to take us back out and it's going to go right back to kind of the same area that we were earlier. Now, same thing will apply when you go to restaurants. So you can see right over here, this is going to be 6% cash back at a Dairy Queen. If we go here, this is 19% uh, cash back at a Del or a Taco Bell, I was gonna say Del Taco. All right, so same thing with restaurants as well too. It'll kind of give you the directions from where you're at, give you a heads up of what the percentage cash back is and how much in the dollar amount that will be. This will also give you the heads up of how to earn that cash back. So again, we can go ahead and click on claim, gives us the directions, we can click on got it. And then from here, the only option for this one is going to be with uploading a receipt. So no matter which card you're using, you're gonna be able to verify that purchase with uploading that receipt. So make sure you keep that receipt or ask for that receipt if they did not give that to you. And then you can just click on here to go ahead and upload that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that cash and EBT are not eligible for this. So make sure that you are using a credit card, debit card, or an Apple Pay to be able to make that purchase. And similar to with the gas, if you want to unclaim, just go ahead and click on unclaim at the very top right hand side. Now, again, you can follow suit with the grocery stores and the convenience stores. And so from there, the other things we want to talk about is the search bar up here. You can search for particular stores to see if they are in this. But honestly, the gas restaurant and grocery store tabs kind of do a really good job for us to begin with. And then you're going to see this dollar amount right over here. Obviously, it could be zero or it could be whatever dollar amount you have on there. This is the amount of cash back that you have earned thus far. Uh, obviously, if you withdrawn any money, this goes back down to zero. So this for us is what we have available to withdraw, although typically it's best to wait once you get over a $10 threshold. And I'll show you that in just one moment. 
Now, from here, you can hit this little icon over here to go back to where you are actually currently. So that way, if you're looking on a map and you're not like sure where you're going to want to go, you can go to this section to kind of bring you right back to a center so you can see exactly what's around you. So if you move around the map here, you can go ahead and click search this area to kind of uh, filter in all the different discounts you can find in that particular area, like that 27% cashback at Burger King. Now, you could also toggle this up here as well, too. And you might actually even see it this way as well when you open up. Let me go ahead and click that again. I'll go like this. This is what you also might see as well when you open up the app. So it just kind of really depends on how it opens up. But again, you're going to see your filters here. You might even have additional discounts like you could see this one for us. We have two uh, options for the next two times we go to get an additional five cents off our gas for any other promotions that they already have. So it's kind of like a cumulative on that respect. So if we keep sliding this up, you're going to see all of these all together here for us. So you can see the different promotions that they have as well. So if you didn't want to look at it from a map perspective, you could look at it from this kind of perspective and see if any of these are within your range or from what you want to do as well. 30% back on a Burger King thing, not too shabby. Now, if you want to see previous activities, there is the activity tab here at the very bottom. So you can see all the different um, earnings that you've had over the last couple of months. You can see your total lifetime earning. We've had about $237.83 for us. And then you can even click into these sections here so you can see, you know, all the information from those uh, cashback details. Um, I've never had a problem of getting that cash back. Honestly, every single time it's gone through just perfectly fine for us. So I absolutely love this app. Now, the next tab over here is the refer and earn. This is really cool. If you refer other people to the app, you're actually going to get a really nice bonus. You're going to get that 15 cents off per gallon. So again, using my link, you'll get that bonus. But then when you send that out to other people, you can also get that bonus plus one cent for every gallon your friend buys. So that kind of accumulates for you as well. You'll see your invite code down here so you can hit share. That's the same thing when you click on our link as well. So you can go ahead and check that out. You're going to see this thing that says your network. And this is the total amount of people that you've referred. If you want to go that route, of course, you do not have to by any means go through this process to invite other people. But of course, you do get that really nice discount on top of that. And you help save other people money as well, especially if they just want to try it one time and get that really nice 15 cents off. That's always a great thing to do. All right. So now we're back here on the home page of our upside app. And on the top right hand side, you're going to see that circle with the three stacked lines. If we click on here, this is going to bring up kind of like our settings menu. You have an inbox, you got your help section, you got your wallet, which we'll go to in a second, your profile, and then your cash out section and any claims that you might currently have active. Now, for us, we talked about earlier about adding a card on file, and this is where we're going to go to where it says my wallet. And from here, you're going to see all your payment methods, and you can see the one that we have currently available for us. It's our MasterCard here, and then we can click on add payment method. And from here, this is going to be the card that we potentially want to utilize when we go to the gas station or going to the uh, restaurant or the grocery store to utilize. So we're going to fill out all this information, and we have to make sure that when we choose this card, that's the card we actually use to be able to get that cash back. So we add all that information in and click on add payment method and you'll see it on your list. So when you go and claim something, you could choose which card you're going to be using. All right, so now back on this section here where we have all these different options, we're gonna click on a profile and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So from here, you're gonna have your wallet tab, which will actually take you to the same place we just were. You got your inbox here, you got any help you might need. And then you'll see your email. It's gonna ask you what type of gas you typically get and then your invite code. And then on the top right hand side, you'll see the gear icon and this is where you can add any promo codes if you got any extra ones or you can go ahead and sign out if you needed to. All right. Now, again, going back over here to the settings page, uh, we're going to go to the cash out section over here. And from here, you're going to see a couple different things. You're going to see your bank account, which when you go ahead and click on this for the first time, it should ask you to go ahead and add your bank on file. And then from here, you're also going to see gift cards as well, too. So if there are places you like to go to and you would rather just get a gift card, you can go that route. And what's nice is each one here is going to be a little bit different. So it'll let you know what the minimum is going to be. This one's going to be $10 to go ahead and cash out, which is going to be the majority of them. There are some that might be a little bit higher than that as well. So just keep that in mind. But if you want to cash out from your bank or cash out to your bank, I should say, sorry, you're going to go ahead and go to the section that says your bank account. Now in this section is where you're going to choose which bank account you want to utilize to have that money transferred into your bank. And if you don't have an account on file, there is this section down here to go ahead and link a new bank account. It's just going to take you through a step-by-step -step process. If you also want to delete a bank account on file, you can hit that little trash can. Now from here, you can go ahead and click on continue once you choose the bank. And it's going to ask you the total amount that you want to withdraw. Now, like you see here, it has a minimum of a dollar and a penny, or you can go as high as your total dollar amount. 
I, again, I like to typically wait till at least over $10. I believe there is a small fee if you go under $10. So I don't want to pay that fee. So I just wait till that $10 threshold has been hit for us. Uh, and then we can go ahead and click on continue. And then from right over here, you're actually going to see where it is going to let you know that if you do anything under a dollar, it is a dollar fee. But if you do anything above that, you're not going to have any worries to be able to go and cash out. So you're not going to see this fee here if it was over $10. It could be $10 and a penny and you won't have any of this fee. So this only exists for anything under, which is why I always wait. You don't have to, but you can. And then from here, you can always click on cash out. It does say two to four business days to deposit. I typically actually see it within about one to two business days, but of course, holidays or you know long weekends, it might actually take a little bit longer to go through. So now if you wanna go ahead and get started with using the Upside app, I'll have that link for you in the show notes down below so you can go ahead and jump right to it and get started with downloading the app and setting up your account, plus getting that nice little bonus for using our referral link, which does help us out of course, but that also does allow us to make more free content just like this for you. Now, speaking of free content, I'm gonna post my next video right over here so you can keep on learning and growing when it comes to using your financial apps.